Hey y'all, let's check out Hillvale Dystopian. Hey y'all, so this is a land that I have had once again on my list for a while and I am finally getting to it. If you're new here, welcome. It's definitely a vibe on this side. I am shy in Second Life and on this channel we check out aesthetically pleasing places in the virtual world of Second Life and I also sporadically do lifestyle vlogs. So if you're interested in content like this, go ahead and subscribe. So this land has been around, around for a nice little while and one this is one of the times where i have like got a bunch of landmarks and then this one just kind of got lost in the sauce i was going through my landmarks trying to see like where i wanted us to go next and i was going to these landmarks and i'm like why did i even make this a landmark like it was places where i was just like girl you was just landmark in any place any place i want to see was high up when I panned out I love that it was so colorful um this is the shared environment so when you guys come here you can see like I love when they do the, look at this it looks so futuristic it has a like grunge type appeal to it that I really really love Hillvale has so many was that a Pepsi sign Hillvale has so many different things. I've been to one of their beaches with you guys, and then they have another beach. I thought I saw, like, okay, I'm like, I know I went tripping. That's that's sad. My my father loves him some Pepsi, so I can I can tell the sign from a mile away. They have like another beach that um I haven't um been to with you guys. And so I love the fact that they have like so many different fields. All of their lands, uh oh, all of their lands do have like the ones that I've gone to, they all have like that grunge type appeal to them. I don't know why the zoom is like doing the most right now. We saw these robots on in silico, was it? Yes, it was in silico. And so all their lands have the same type of theme but they decorate them in totally different ways so like although in my opinion a lot of the lands they do have like that grunge type theme to them um the decorations just it kind of gives you a different type of feel so like this feels very like uh another like forgotten type space is very grunge and just really gritty then the beach that we went to although it also had like that grunge type feel to it it didn't feel in my opinion as gritty as this place feels but i do like the way that they have decorated the place it's it has a it's so difficult to describe it it does have a grunge feel to it but then there are certain aspects of it that have like a futuristic clean type feel to them if that does, if that makes sense so it's like this space is very grunge but it's like a clean grunge you know what i'm saying like i don't feel like this is like a quote-unquote dirty space so it's more like that almost like in the future they're not caring so much about um the cleanliness aesthetic of it it's like just know that it's clean it is that's what it's giving it's like know that it's clean i don't care what it look like just know that it's clean so a lot of these things they do give me like that um in silico type feel to it like we had went to a like a little restaurant and it had this feel to it look at all the colors in here all the colors so beautiful i love when they make the lands dark and then they add a bunch of color to it so that it's like it's dark but it's not really dark so i love they have all these little flying spacecrafts i love the neon lights i love like the sporadic little cars in the street then they have some cars that are just flat out broke down i love that i love the whole feel of this i love the robots and all of that so they do have a teleporter now i did hop on this teleporter and this teleporter doesn't take you to different spaces within this space it's it took me to different lands that they have and i love that i love that i love that they're like if you think this is nice we have even more because a lot of people will click on the teleporters and think that it's going to teleport them to a different part on this particular land but it doesn't 
so that's i felt like that was a very genius way to market your the other lands that they have as opposed to just being like well i hope you guys figure it out but they also have that when you first um drop down they have like a whole landmark board and stuff like that to let you know that they have other lands outside of this land so all right now so when i tell you just walking around here i didn't know that it was this much here the times that i came here like i said a lot of these times i will literally come to the land and when i come to the land if it looks like a place that i would like to show you guys then i go ahead and i landmark it that's good but it's also not very good because when i went back to try to see where we were gonna go next i was running into a lot of lands where i was just like mm, i don't even want to look at this land with them like at all so i was kind of disappointed in that because i'm like there had to have been a time i love her outfit there had to have been a time where i was just like it's it's a it's a place that i would want to go and visit but not necessarily a place that i was excited to go and visit you know what i'm saying and so now that i've been doing this with you guys for a while i feel like i have a pretty good perception as far as can i get out this way no this is like a really different space i feel like i have a pretty good perception as far as the places that you guys like to tour with me and the places that i love to tour with you guys the most there will be lands where he look super cool but his little jacket he like i'm naked but not really there are places that i landmark and i'm like it might not be things that i feel like the land is not like a place that i feel like i would want us to go but it's more just like a me space like i would like to go here I would like to see what's going on on this land because it might not be as aesthetically pleasing. And although I do love aesthetically pleasing places, when I'm on Second Life, there are times that I will just go and chill someplace. I, I come to Second Life, I watch movies on my little TV. I do all types of things um, on Second Life like that I would do in real life. So sometimes I will have landmarks for places that I'm just like, okay, this would be a nice place for you to just kind of go and visit if you wanted to have some place just to kind of like vibe out and chill for a little bit. And so I think that's the reason why I had some of those landmarks where I was just like, uh-uh, this couldn't have possibly been for me to take y'all to. This had to have been a place just for me. And I feel like it's good to have that nice balance of places that we can share in, but also, you know, leaving some jewels for myself. Um, I do think that that's a very, very, a very, very important. So that is something that I will do on a regular basis. I love that although everything is futuristic, they have very modern things in here, like that bookstore. And then they have like a little barber shop and things like that to kind of bring in the um, familiarity of not being in the future. Still leaving a space for you to not feel completely out of space um being in this area like you don't feel like this is a space where it's like oh this is not a place for humans this would be a place like just for robots and things like that so they do have aspects of it where it's like okay you know this would be a place where humans and robots will dwell because ain't no robot going to the barbershop that's something that we do know that we really really do know amongst uh other things they also might not be going to the library you know that that's a place for us but the colors here are amazing everything is beautiful and i love it hope you guys enjoyed this and i will see you guys tomorrow